real name is Patrick Wallace, but uh, most know me by Supreme Patty. I've always been into boxing, and kind of when I started the comedian stuff, I kind of lost my stuff. You know, I always used to be in the gym, always used to be training, and once I got into that, I was so busy, so I kind of like started gaining weight. Now I'm gonna really get back into it and focus on myself again, because I think I could actually be pretty good at it. My name is Rudy Prieto. I'm from Pensacola, Florida, by way of Albuquerque, New Mexico. He's a famous guy with a lot of followers and, uh, uh, from what I've heard, a hard worker. That's all. One, two, nine. One, two. There you go. That's a good guy, very good guy, very courageous guy. He learns so fast. I mean, he picks up stuff immediately almost. And then he got very good punching power, especially in the right hand. Right? There you go. For this fight, I definitely had to wake my ass up 5 o'clock in the morning, start running. I had to do a lot of running uh, after work. Man, I work, I did this on top of work. I'm ready to go. I hit the bag. I, I hit pads. I did whatever I had to do because I'm coming here to win. I'm just trying to do this the right way, you know, unlike most celebrities, just fighting other celebrities, and none of them know how to actually fight, so they're just going in there trying to make money and get publicity and whatnot. But you know, I'm gonna take the training seriously and do my five amateur fights, see how I feel, maybe go pro and get in there with the big dogs and go from there. This is gonna be an old school brawl type fight. I'm talking Chris Lieben, a Yoshihiro Akiyama throwdown fight. Come watch because if you don't, you're gonna miss one of the greatest fights you've seen in a while. Uh, I'm ready to knock people out. The time is now. Supreme Patty making his boxing debut here in Pensacola. He takes on Rudy Prieto. Prieto has some amateur mixed martial arts experience, 1-0 as an MMA fighter, 0-1 as an amateur boxer. And tonight he hopes to pick up a, a huge win. It's not very often that uh, you get to fight someone in your first fight that is known by millions of people, and it's their first fight too. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a unique experience for, I think, everybody in attendance. Right. To, to see something like this, to see a boxing match between these two guys, Supreme Patty, an internet sensation. True. Putting his reputation on the line yeah. and fighting a real fight, training hard to fight a real fight. I mean, not that there's any bad blood here, but Patty, with all the followers, Rudy Prieto would love to be able to tell all his friends, look, I beat yeah, that guy yeah, up. Look, I beat this guy, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, he's in a he's in a unique position to where he could kind of piggyback off of all sure. those followers that Supreme Patty brings. And that's the thing. Patty talks about how he thinks he could be good at this. This is not new to Rudy Prieto. He's fought in amateur mixed martial arts. He's fought in amateur boxing. He wants to be a fighter. What better way to propel your career than by Beating someone with seven million followers. Yeah, and you know, I don't think this guy is, uh, you know, going to be a walk in the park. I mean, he's. I mean, you heard in his interview, I had to wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I mean, they didn't just, you know, find a guy that they thought Supreme Patty could beat. I mean, this guy is a is a legit guy. So, I mean, he looks to be in shape. Looks to have his gloves on his right hand on the right hand. Right. So, <laughs> Rudy Prieto yeah. wants to make a name yeah, for himself for sure by beating Supreme Patty. He referenced an old school name that I thought you would appreciate, the uh, Chris Lieben. Oh yeah. Yeah, the Chris Lieben Akiyama fight. Chris Lieben, known as the Crippler. He used to have the best nickname in MMA, the Cat Smasher. Yeah. I love that, but he shed it. I wonder why. I wonder why they changed that. Patrick Wallace, A.K.A. Supreme Patty, making the walk. Look at that first fight. He's already got a matching entourage. Young man is ready to go, 21 years old. He worked with the great Roy Jones Jr. And Roy, again, he's not one to sugarcoat anything. He said that Patty's a hard worker, was picking things up quickly. Roy Jones Jr. has no reason to be nice to Supreme Patty. And for him to say nice things about him, that's a testament. Yeah, and, and like I said, I talked to Charles Rosso, UFC fighter Charles Rosso, and he said, man, he's got, he said he hits hard. He said he hits hard. He says he's got uh, like three knockouts in the street. And Charles is like, I don't have three knockouts in the street. <laughs> so that says something. <laughs> right. Supreme Patty hopes to get a knockout in the ring here tonight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this match. Patrick Wall, Supreme Patty making his debut. Rudy Prieto, 0-1 on his amateur boxing run. Prieto, six years the elder. He stands six inches taller. And Prieto will have a two-inch reach advantage. 
The time has arrived for our official introductions. We have to wait a moment, apparently. Not exactly sure what the issue is here. All right, now we're good to go. Christopher James with our introductions. Excellent. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, all you folks right here at Pensacola, let me hear you make some noise. And you folks at RU Live, I hope you're ready. It's time right now for one of our featured bouts of the evening. This one is being brought to you by our friends at Billy Clark Bail Bonds and is set for three two-minute rounds in Dean Tool Promotions Amateur Boxing Division. When the action starts inside the ring, our referee, Larry Downs Jr. And now, let's meet our boxers. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner. Standing six feet even and weighing in 168.4 pounds. Tonight, he comes to the ring with a record of zero wins and one defeat. Representing Deepwater MMA and fighting out of Pensacola, Florida, please welcome Rudy Prieto. And his opponent, boxing out of the red corner. Standing five feet six, weighing in at 174.4 pounds. Tonight, he is making his debut. Representing the Shrimp Gang and fighting out of Daytona Beach, please welcome the internet worldwide sensation, the one and only Patrick Supreme Petty Wallace. While he's known all over the world on the internet, I gotta say that Rudy Prieto, he's he's right there with Supreme Patty as far as fan support here inside yeah, the Pensacola yeah. Bay Center. Prieto looked a little nervous though when they announced his name. I thought he looked a little nervous. I mean, this is his second amateur boxing fight, and heck, it's on pay-per-view to a worldwide audience. Yeah. I'd be a little bit nervous, he looked, too. He looked a little nervous, so he's going to have to try to deal with that right away. He's a much taller fighter here. See how he can utilize that, come over the top of the right hand. But Patty working that jab, mixing it up, going to the body. His right hand by Prieto. Covering up his Patty. Patty doing a good job of at least keeping his hands in the right place. Patty encouraging Prieto to come forward. So far, Patty not uh, really showing the effects of these punches, willing to take some shots to give some. Nice right hand by Prieto. Patty coming forward. Prieto starting to get a little bit comfortable in his right hand. Well, I think Prieto is going to get tired. Uh, it looks like he's gonna, like he's throwing a lot of punches that aren't really having a major effect, and I feel like he's going to get tired. Look at Patty just screaming at Prieto. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. He's in, in an sensation for a reason. And I think he hit the nail on the head about something. Patty in his first amateur boxing fight, but this young man is a fighter. He's at home. Getting hit. He wants to give some back. He's taken every punch well. That's got to be a bit demoralizing for Prieto as well. I mean, he's hit him plenty of times, but Patty looks no worse for the wear. And he said, and he screamed in the corner, hit me, hit me. Prieto trying to oblige him to Patty, throwing some shots of his own. You see the form of Prieto starting to get a little bit more loose and sloppy. Nice. Punch for Patty. Patty lands a stiff jab. Final 10 seconds of this opening round. But Prieto's slowing down significantly. First round in the books. Prieto landed more offense than Patty, but it looks like Prieto's the one that's a bit more demoralized yeah, as he, he walks to the corner. He, he seems a bit, I don't want to say frustrated, but just like you said, demoralized and I don't see the momentum going his way. I think that was going to be his best round. And he can't keep that pace he up be either. To, because I think he, he gave everything he had, and it didn't work. We'll see if he makes some adjustments here headed into round number two. Dean, walk us through this action. Uh, he's trying to put the pressure on 
on Patty. And this was the this was one of my favorite parts here. Patty just yelled out, hit me, hit me, hit me, and then started firing back. Getting a little tied up in the ropes, but firing back on Prieto. And I think that demoralized Prieto, especially when he threw him down there. That demoralized him more than anything else. They say he can't teach heart. Supreme Patty's got a lot of heart. See if he has some offense to throw back the way of Rudy Prieto. DJ DeSantis, Dean Thomas inside Pensacola Bay Center tonight. Dean Tool Promotions presents Masvidal versus Pettis. That is our main event. But right now, round two, about to get underway. Supreme Patty and Rudy Prieto. I like the form here of Patty. I mean, he's taking some shots, but he's got his hands up. Now he drops them. Trying to get in the head of Prieto, who smirks. Yeah, I, I think that one of the biggest things for uh, Prieto is, is he's using his reach advantage and it's giving it a hard time for Patty to get in there. Nice right hand by Patty, but Prieto landing a few shots of his own. Now up in the ropes here. Patty trying to circle away, trying to land some big right hands on the break. He's got to tie his glove. That's a little sneaky uh, right handed. Patty snuck in there. It's clear, Prieto's gonna win this fight. He's gotta keep this pace up, and he's just gotta stop Patty. Patty's not going to let up in this fight, even if he's taking a lot of shots. Time, maybe not necessarily on the side of Patty here with Prieto getting this offense going, but Supreme Patty's showing the heart of a, a warrior. Now he's trying to get the referee to take care of his glove. Which is unfortunate too, because I think he should have just let that happen later because Prieto was starting to get tired. Now you give him Prieto time to breathe. And I think he should have kept the pressure on Prieto. He should have put pressure on him. Yeah, you gave Prieto a, a chance to, to break and catch his breath. Big right hand over the top by Patty. Prieto able to answer. Now short little shots on the inside. Prieto going to the body. Patty taking Prieto's best punches here. Yep, yeah, I think that body shot might have hurt Patty. Eats a left hand there. Here in the latter part of the second round, Patty's still throwing shots. Almost a clash of heads there. Yeah, Patty's got to start throwing, so he's got to start throwing more punches, and he can't wait much longer. Two rounds in the books between Rudy Prieto and Supreme Patty. Another solid round for Prieto. I think Patty, in his first boxing match here, he's starting to understand it's hard to fight a, a much longer fighter like Prieto, and Prieto's using that, that reach. Well, I think he's starting to understand a lot right. that it's not as easy as it looks on TV. And, but you know what, again, hats off to him for finding that out firsthand and not just saying, oh, this is what I would do if I was him or this is what I right. would do. He's in here now, he's in the thick of it. He knows what it feels like to sit on that rat, sit on that stool going into the last round, that feeling. And he's got intensity written all over his face. I mean, while maybe this fight isn't going his way per se, he's far from out of this. I, I, oh, no, I think you're gonna have to stop this man before he stops fighting. No, he's, he's, he's in it. He's not giving up, he's in it. Headed to the final round. Two minutes left for these gentlemen to keep it out of the judges' hands. And we are underway. See what the game plan here is of Prieto, if he wants to rest on the performance that he's already turned in. Looks like he's coming forward with that jab again. Patty eats another stiff jab by Prieto. Pensacola Bay Center coming alive for Supreme Patty. 90 seconds left in the fight. Patty's still not out of his heat. The crowd is cheering him on. He can still come back. He eats a couple shots. He's eating them shots well, though, for a guy who's never had a boxing match. He's taking shots and still coming back countering. Hard right hand by Patty to Prieto. No worse for the wear. He's throwing that, Patty's throwing that overhand, right? I think he should mix it up and throw it underneath. 
because it's just missing over the top. He might want to change the direction of it. Final minute of this matchup, both fighters slowing a little bit. Nice stiff left hand by Patty. Two men disengage. Coming up with the final 30 seconds of this match. Nice right hand by Patty. And over the top with another right hand. Another right hand by Patty. Again, it's just catching the back of, of Fredo, but if he would come underneath, he probably catch a, a little more square to his face. Final 10 seconds, what's gonna happen? Supreme Patty, Rudy Prieto. That's a wrap. Nice sign of sportsmanship by Rudy Prieto. Supreme Patty. Officially in the books now as an amateur boxer. Look at some of this action here. Patty was definitely game trying to throw everything he had at Prieto. Prieto landed a nice right hand there in that sequence. And again, a learning experience for Supreme Patty. His first boxing match here tonight. It was durable, he was game, he was gritty. And he's doing it the right way. Win, lose, or draw. Tonight, Supreme Patty did what you're supposed to do when you dip your foot into combat sports. You don't get to be a pro right away. You don't fight Floyd Mayweather in your first fight. Well, unless you're Conor McGregor, but that's a different story. It wasn't his first fight. Supreme Patty, an amateur boxer. He will have his decision rendered. Rudy Prieto, though, very offensive in this match. Really utilized his reach in this fight, and it was difficult for Patty to deal with. And again, should Supreme Patty continue his boxing career, gonna walk away with a lot of good things, a lot of learning lessons from this. But Rudy Prieto. Very happy with his performance. We'll see what the judges say. Never say never. They could have seen a different fight than Dean Thomas and I had ringside, but they will render their decision here in just one moment. Rudy Prieto, Supreme Patty, go three rounds. To make this one official, here's Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, make some noise for these men inside the ring. After three rounds, we go to the judges for a decision. Judge number one scored at 29-28. Judge two scored at 29-28. Judge three scores it 30 to 27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Rudy Prieto. No surprise there, Rudy Prieto Rudy. getting the nod. He will speak with Dean Thomas. Supreme Patty, first off, congratulations. And I think I speak for everybody in here. We appreciate the good scrap that you gave us. But first, Rudy, I'm gonna come to you. What does it mean for you to get a victory over an internet sensation like Supreme Patty? Hey, I promised my mom, my kids, my whole family I wouldn't lose. And I put in the work, man, with a full-time job. I fucking love my life. Supreme Patty, it's an honor for us to have you here, for you to put your reputation on the line in front of all your millions of fans and have this boxing match. How do you rate your performance? Well, first of all, my uh, reputation isn't gonna be uh, messed up when or lost. Let me get that out there first. And uh, I feel like I did pretty good, but uh, I've only been training about a month. You know, I just started getting into it. I was weighing like 200 pounds, dropped like 30 pounds in a month. So uh, I'm gonna come out here again and put in some work. We appreciate both of you guys. What's next for you, Rudy? He's, dude, like for only doing this for three months, Patty's got it going on, man. Nothing but love for the dude. I love a good fight, man, for real. Come back, come back and beat that piece of shit, Jake Paul, and I'll be one of them motherfuckers after you. I don't give a fuck, quit. Logan Paul, let's make it happen. 
So Brady Patty versus Jake Paul, Rudy versus Logan Paul, let's fucking go! And how about you, what, what would you like to see happen for you next? Um, I'm gonna just keep working, I'll fight whatever opportunities come, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two gentlemen. Rudy Prieto on top of the world tonight with his victory over Supreme Patty. He wants a Paul. I'm looking at Supreme Patty, he wants to go back to the drawing board, which says a lot about this young man and his ambition in boxing. Rudy Prieto victorious tonight over Supreme Patty.